What am I carrying in my case whenever I'm working a wedding? Let's find out. Hey guys, so in this video, we're gonna break down what's in my case, wedding edition, and I'm gonna be explaining all of the items that are in my case whenever I'm out shooting weddings. So to start off, I have the Sony a7R5. This camera is amazing and the reason I have two is because I shoot two bodies at the same time. Most of the time, one body has a wide lens and the other body has a prime lens. So for example, my right camera will be a 50 millimeter and then my left camera will be a 24 millimeter. During the ceremony, I usually pull out a 70 to 200 millimeter lens and that will probably go on my main camera and then my left camera will probably have my 50 millimeter. So those are the two bodies that I usually carry with me at every wedding and I always have a backup camera in my other case just in case something goes wrong. Next up is my 24 millimeter G Master. This is one of my favorite lenses. Um, like I said, it lives on my camera most of the night and I love using it during portraits because with the 24 millimeter, I can go wide and get my signature portrait or my environmental portrait. Using a 24 millimeter is also great in small or tiny spaces. That way, in case I can't use my 50 millimeter, I can get a wider view of everything that's going on with my wide lens. Next up, we have the 50 millimeter. It's my favorite lens to go to. I use it literally all the times. Next up, is the 70 to 200 G Master. This only comes out for ceremony and sometimes speeches. Usually I set up a dramatic lighting setup for the speeches and I like to walk around during speeches. So not only am I getting a front view of the person speaking or the bride and groom's reaction, but I'm also getting maybe a side angle of the individual who's actually talking in the microphone. Next up in my case, we have the 90 millimeter macro Sony G Master lens, another favorite. I can't work a wedding without all of these lenses. The 90 millimeter literally only comes out for the detail shots. During the beginning stages of the wedding, when the bride is getting ready or the groom is getting ready, I'm shooting rings, jewelry, invitations, pretty much anything that will look really good with a macro lens, I'm shooting it using this lens right here, 90 millimeter. All right, so let's continue. Now I'm gonna talk about some of the items I have in my bag. I always carry two triggers. They're the Godox or Flashpoint trigger. This is what you set on top of your camera if you want to use off-camera flash. So this one is compatible with the Sony bodies. Click it on and this is what it looks like when it's on the camera. So whenever you're using off-camera flash, you put this baby on there and you're going to be able to trigger remotely your lights anywhere where you place them. Next up is batteries. You got to have a lot of batteries with you. Always make sure to carry extra batteries just in case. Um, with that being said, I also carry an additional charger just in case. You never know. What if you run out of batteries and you need to charge one on the fly? There's going to be a plug anywhere you go, so always carry a charger as well. All right, so next up we have my card case. This thing comes with me everywhere. It's in my pocket the entire day. Um, on the left side, I have a whole bunch of empties and any used cards for the day are going to go on the right side of this case. This is a very secure case. It's waterproof. Uh, does prove and it's hard shell. So, you know, literally there's nothing that's gonna happen to this case. Here's a cool wedding tip. A lot of people usually like to use any cards that are 128 gigabytes and higher. I usually try to stay away from that for two reasons. One, failure. If your SD card fails throughout the day and you have 128 gigs worth of photos on that card, you're gonna be in a bad situation. So what I usually do is the first portion of the day goes on one card after the ceremony or before the ceremony, I'll then store that card on the right side of this case and put in another 64 gigabyte. That way, if a catastrophic failure happens to that first portion of the day, that's less photos that you're gonna to have to try to recover. I'm shooting my weddings with the 80 gigabyte Sony Tough CF Express Type A card. This is what I use for all of my shoots, including weddings. Next up in my case is a mobile battery charger. Uh, this is very useful in case your phone dies and you need to communicate with someone from the wedding party like a bride or a groom. Always carry a charger with you just in case. Next up is an LED continuous lighting setup. You never know when you're going to need this. You might need this for the details. You might need it for during the reception. This is handy. It's small, it's compact, and it's very powerful. And this is the Pilot Cine RX7 Atom Cube. Yeah. 
you always got to carry a pen. You never know when you're going to have to take notes. <laughs> I also like to carry lens cleaning wipes, uh, just in case your lens, your lenses are dirty, or just in case the screen on the back of your camera is dirty. This always comes in handy. I usually try to clean my lenses every single time I'm about to start working a wedding. So carry a few of these. It's very beneficial. So this right here is a set of SD cards that I have set with presets. So one of the cool things about Sony is that you can save the preset of your camera settings onto a card or the same card that you're shooting with and then load that same preset up onto another camera. It saves a lot of time and say for example I have a second shooter who also shoots Sony, I can just implement these settings onto that person's camera just by inserting this SD card, going into the menu and applying these settings onto that camera. So I carry them with me just in case I have two for photo and one for video. So back to when I was saying that I carry a holster for my cameras, there's a bottom attachment that goes on the bottom of the camera and I have two of them that currently live on my camera, but just in case I have a few extras, that's very important just in case you need it or maybe a second shooter might need it as well. So this is where that goes. This is also in my case. Guys, super important. For example, my triggers, they take AA batteries. So if you have anything in your kit that contains AA batteries or any sort of battery, always carry extra, you never know. All right guys, real quick, let's just talk about how you can support my channel. Two ways, subscribe to this channel, hit the bell so you can get notifications every single time I drop a new video. Another way that you can support this channel is by going to shootwithraystore.com and purchasing some of my merch, just like this t-shirt right here. This is the support Shoot With Ray t-shirt or this hat and many more, along with my presets that can be of value to you. So that way you can edit quickly and efficiently, just like me. So don't forget to visit the merch store, shootwithraystore.com, go check it out. All right, so I have here the MagMod Mag Gels. This is something that I use quite a bit and I love it. So I have the different colors. These are the version twos. These are the new ones that came out for MagMod. They already have a magnetic piece to it. So you can attach it to, you know, you can stack them or you can attach them to each other or you can attach them to the mag grid, which I also have in my case. I have grids, just in case you want to grid or modify lighting. And I also have the version one mag grid for the version one mag gels which I also carry an extra set in my other case. I have this small attachment here in case I wanted to put my LED lighting on the sand and you just screw it on. And now you can put this on any stand that you have with you during the wedding. All right guys, so if you live in a humid place like I do, such as Florida, you're gonna need one of these or maybe two of these in your kit. This is simply just a case that contains a ton of silica balls. This is great for moisture. So that way, when you're placing all of your equipment inside of the case and you close it, this right here will remove all of the moisture and humidity within that case and keep your equipment dry. So that way you avoid mold and fungus in your lenses or camera sensors. I have a whole video explaining how this works. All you have to do is click the top right section of this video and it'll take you straight to that video but watch it at the end of this video. That's pretty much what's in my main case that I bring with me to every wedding. I do have one more of these cases that I bring and it usually has any extra accessories such as additional chargers for the phones and the lights, um, which are also in another section of my car. I bring a few AD 200s with me, also maybe one AD 400 and any light modifiers that I use. My go-to minimal lighting setup for weddings is the 24 inch Magbox by Magmod along with the attachments that you need for that to go on the Flashpoint drop stand. I have the seven foot version, which is not that tall, but it's tall enough for what I do. It's mobile, it's compact, and you've seen it in action in different videos that I have. I safely store all of my equipment and everything that I just showed you here inside of my number 300 case by condition one. This is the case that you should get if you want to have your equipment stored safely. One of my favorite parts about this case is the rubber wheels. That means you can literally roll this case anywhere, on grass, on concrete. If you happen to go to a venue that has a lot of gravel or stone, this case will roll anywhere. Guys, there you have it. You've seen everything that's in my case whenever I'm going to a wedding. If you have any questions about any of the equipment that I showcase today in this video, put it down in the comments, let me know. I will be more than happy to answer any questions you guys got. If you haven't already, give that like button to this video. Go ahead and click it right now. As always, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it helped you out in any sort of way. I can't wait to show you the next one that we have coming up pretty soon. Thanks for watching.